I got an email recently from a longtime viewer. Don Cogswell offered to send me some emu feathers. But oddly enough, I had just been shopping for some earlier that week, and I had half a dozen of these packs in my shopping cart already. Now, I've never tied with emu, but I've been wanting to give it a try since reading Mark Salkowitz's article in 2019 fall issue of Fly Tire Magazine. So I broke out my old copy here, looking for something fun to try. And I decided on an emu and orange as the first fly to try with this material. Now, if you don't have this back issue of the magazine, you can read it online. I'll put a link to it in the description here. Now, one note on emu feathers. They really are pretty unique. Each of the feathers may have what looks like a standard amount of barbs, but when you look closer, each barb kind of looks like its own feather. And you'll see what I'm talking about here in a minute, but please let me know in the comments if any of y'all have ever used emu feathers in your fly tying, but this was a first for me, and after having played around with it for half an hour or so, I think it's going to make some really pretty effective flies. So there it is in the vise, an emu and orange, very reminiscent of partridge and orange, which I'm sure that's how it got its name. It's not the prettiest looking fly, but that big emu feather there, but it is certainly kind of unique. And I'm tying this on a size 14 barbless curve shank hook. It's actually a clink hammer, but I think any curve shank hook is gonna work fine for you. And as this is an emu and orange, I'm using orange thread. I'm gonna make the body out of thread here too. This is a 140 denier, which, you know, it'll make the head probably a little bit uglier, but will make it easier to build a big body quickly. You could certainly use one or 70 denier thread here if you wanted to get a better looking head, but it'd take a lot more wraps to get this body done. But either way, it's fine. Thread's cheap and it's only gonna take you about three inches to make this whole body anyway. So go ahead and put a couple layers down and take your thread back up front where we're gonna catch in our thorax. And I'm gonna use a single strand peacock curl for the thorax. You could certainly use a dubbing here. Some of the patterns from that article did use a dubbing but I like Peacock Curl and it's probably just a little bit quicker. And I'm gonna put maybe four wraps right here. We'll see what that looks like for us. Okay, let's go five. Now here is an emu feather and it's pretty long and you'll find in that packet that you know a lot of them are going to be pretty shaggy down here toward the thin end i don't think i'm going to use those but take a look at this see it's a feather it almost looks like it's going to be a dry fly feather but each barb looks like a feather in itself so let's catch it in about right here okay it's stripped pretty easily but my stem right here is kind of thick i'm not sure what that's going to do for us but i think we're going to be okay Let's go ahead and snip this off, and I should have enough wraps there that it's not gonna pull out on me. Maybe a couple more wraps right here, get my thread back up behind the eye, and now just wrap this like you do a dry fly hackle. And again, the stem is kind of thick, but I think it's gonna be fine. And if anything, I would err to the side of maybe over hackling it maybe an extra wrap because you can always pluck these barbs out if you think you have too many let's go one or maybe a half more right here okay i think that's going to be enough let's snip this stem right there and then like any hackle just kind of pull it back and work on your head Now we've got some room for a quick whip finish. Now you can see what I'm talking about with that thread and a 140 denier. That head is just a little bit bigger than I like, but we still got a fishable fly. I don't think this thing's gonna go in the water all lopsided on us. And I'm gonna leave all those hackle. You could put a little bit of that out, you know, just take your tweezers, but I think we're fine, and I think this is a, a pretty cool looking fishable fly. I can't wait to get out on the water and give it a try. So that's it, my friends. I appreciate you watching. Y'all take care, and we'll see you next time.